have a hilarious story for you um, that I want to share. Um, it appears that the triple vaxxed still dealing with this uh, issue uh, here. Uh, so you got your double vax, and then you got your booster shot. <clears throat> um, BuzzFeed New York City holiday party becomes oh, BuzzFeed of all people becomes a COVID super spreader event. I'm glad they just straight up called it that. Several employees infected. Several BuzzFeed staffers have been infected with COVID-19 following uh, the company's holiday party in Manhattan, according to a report from the Insider. Or from Insider. Three BuzzFeed employees who tested positive following the party told Insider that they were vaccinated and received their booster shots prior to contracting COVID-19. And I just want to just keep in mind that there are people, there are those of us that are not vaccinated that have not got this shit and or got it. And we don't know that we, we don't know that we had it. I think that's important. Yet there's people that have not got one, not two, but three fucking jabs. The outbreak also comes as COVID-19 cases have uh, risen in New York city due to the uh, Omicron. My variant BuzzFeed has reportedly strengthened COVID-19 protocols. They're working fantastic uh, following the party. Uh, well, after the party, I guess. And amid the surging cases, a surge of cases in New York City, including putting a temporary freeze on group meetings over six people because COVID doesn't spread when it's when it's six. Or no, when it's five or no six. So seven. That shit starts spreading all around like motherfucker. Six, though, you're generally safe. Um, there, you can't spread COVID. It's like when you sit down at a restaurant um, and take your mask off. Um, for those of you that still doing the charade shit, uh, the, 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 the Delta variant and the Omicron doesn't pass when you sit down, right? So very short people, kids, they can't, they can't get it because it, it has a height requirement. Same same logic. It's just science. Get with the program. Uh, requiring masks in the office until further notice and freezing all non-essential business travel until the new year. The company is also conducting contact tracing as well as offering free testing. The close contacts. The party held December the 10th in the Starlit, Starlit Lay Building in Manhattan was attended by employees from BuzzFeed's New York's and Washington's offices, in addition to the employees from HuffPost, which BuzzFeed acquired last year. One of the positive staff, positive staffers told Insider that they became aware that they had been exposed to BuzzFeed's in-house contact tracing team, notified them that they had been in contact with a positive case of communication reference, that the contact may have been at BuzzFeed's New York office um the holiday party or at group gathering in los angeles you motherfuckers all over the place another covid positive employees estimate another of the covid positive employees estimated that there were about 10 cases they knew of the staffer said that they are aware of five or six staffers who currently feel sick and are waiting the results and you know what? They're going to come out of this and say, well, thank God I was vaccinated because it would have been worse, though they can't prove it. It would have been worse. Um, office, uh, BuzzFeed, head of global real estate, office services and security, reportedly sent an email to employees on Thursday writing with COVID positive case rising across the U S we now have a number of full t- known full time and freelance employees who have tested positive in recent days. Uh, uh that I'm going to stop there. Long story short, as Rochelle Walensky, y'all's beloved expert in CDC, um, CDC fucking director. That's an, that's her actual title. The shit don't prevent transmission. Not an opinion. That's what they said. Okay. Um, now you have people that are getting triple jabbed and now do what you want, but don't ignore the the reality of the situation because it's not convenient. Okay. It is important to remember that that was not always the case. Joe Biden is still, we, we he was talking to channel seven the other day and he's still saying that, Hey, you know, 
basically you can't spread it if you get it, which is bullshit. <laughs> like it's bullshit. We know that. And not to mention that he mentioned that before. And uh, of course, even Rochelle Walensky said that, hey, we know according to our data and real world data that people that catch, that get this vaccine are not catching it and they aren't getting sick. Turned out that was medical misinformation. So you can take it in whatever way that you may, but don't ignore it. Um, and I think this is what's happening here, is that there's a lot of people that were bamboozled and led astray, but they don't want to come to terms with it. So they keep doing the shit. And that is the old leftist authoritarian way, the leftist authoritarian way. What you do is when you fuck up, or rather when you do something and it's not as, as effective as you promised that it would be, you double down. And then you, in the case of this, this, you triple down. <laughs> you just watched a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.